Hi, Andy at Enduristan here, and I'm here to talk to you about the Hurricane range of Enduristan rucksacks. Uh, that includes the Linden's Hurricane Hydro, which I'm wearing now, uh, the Hurricane 15 and the Hurricane 25. Uh, we're also gonna show you how to adjust the harness on these bags. Uh, they all come with the same harness and they all adjust in the same way. So if we take a look at some of the features that separate our bags out from each other, and we'll start with the lightweight Linden's Hurricane Hydro. Uh, this is essentially a, a hydration backpack. Uh, it's designed so that you can carry up to three liters of water with you on your trip. Uh, it comes with a waterproof pocket at the bottom of the bag. This means that you can separate out any wet items and store them separately in this compartment, or of course keep any items that you want to keep waterproof tucked away as well. Uh, the harness of the bag is adjustable in the four corners, so the top two shoulder straps and the lower uh, right and left hand side as well. Uh, and the bag does include a clip which is to hold the uh, bladder or hydration pack uh, water pipe. So the inner section of the bag is a uh, foam line, so this means that there is some padding here uh, and is designed so that you can get some ventilation between your back and this bag. Um, but this padding is also quite thin and this is because this bag is designed to be able to be worn underneath a jacket as well. Now one last feature on the outside of this bag is all of our Hurricane bags come with a secret pocket. Uh, that pocket sits in this section here at the lower part of the back padding. Uh, it's found in here, it's tucked away with some Velcro uh, and it's designed that you can put some money or some keys or some ID in there uh, to keep it completely tucked away and concealed if you need to. Now when it comes to using a water bladder with this bag it's very simple so there's a tab at the top of the rear part of the bag you can undo that tab and inside is the uh, sleeve for where the bladder will sit and at the top of that sleeve is a small velcro strap which is designed to loop around the top of your bladder to hold it upright all that you do is you install your bladder inside this sleeve secure it at the top and then you can run your uh, water hose or drinking hose over the top of the strap and it clips in place using this clip here. Now this clip is removable so you can have it uh, located on the left or the right hand side of the harness depending on which side you prefer. So one of the accessories that we do offer for the Hurricane bags is the Hydropack HP303 litre water bladder. Uh, this is a self-contained water bladder. Uh, it's extremely rugged and good quality uh, and is designed to fit perfectly inside all of our Hurricane bags, including Linden's Hurricane Hydro. Now another accessory we have available for the Hurricane bags is the Energy Pack. Uh, this is a neoprene based pouch. It's not waterproof, but it is designed to hold small items, specifically energy gels, chocolate bars, things that you might wanna be able to access quickly whilst on the go. Uh, this pouch is attachable to uh, our harnesses in two positions. So we have a wrap around strap at the back, which is secured with Velcro. Or you can pass a strap in the, from the harness through behind that, uh, behind that Velcro so that the pouch is mountable in a horizontal position as well. Now when it comes to our other two bags, we have the Hurricane 15 litre and Hurricane 25 litre rucksack. These bags have different shapes, different weights, and some different features, or they share some similar features as well. Uh, the harness is exactly the same on both of these bags. They both adjust uh, at the shoulders and down on the lower parts of the harness. They also include a heavy duty waist strap as well, which has some padding around the hip area too. Now the Hurricane 15 liter is narrower than the Hurricane 25. Um, it means that it's a great size for a day bag if you're including um, some gear, some accessories, maybe some camera equipment as well. Uh, and of course the Hurricane 15 also accepts the uh, water bladder up to three liters, um, specifically designed to take the Hydropack HP30 uh, water bladder that we have as an accessory. Now, just looking at the rear part of this bag, uh, you obviously have the Enduristan harness, but you also have some quite thick, but also firm foam padding. Uh, this is designed to keep the bag slightly off of your back and give you some uh, ventilation. And of course, we have the secret, secret pocket inside the bag as well, and that's located under a Velcro strap here, which is at the lower part of the harness. And that's really just designed to take a bank card, maybe some cash, some keys, maybe an ID, just some stuff that you wanna keep super secure uh, and hidden out of sight. Now on the rear top part of the bag is the access to the pocket where the bladder sits. The opening to this pocket is sealed with this Velcro patch and inside you have a pocket which will accept up to a three litre bladder and of course the retaining strap at the top which will hold the bladder in place. Now the drinking tube for that bladder could be passed from inside the pocket outside to the strap and can be secured in place using this bracket here. Now this bracket is removable and adjustable so it can be taken from this side and mounted on the right hand side of the harness depending on what your preference is. Now the bag can be compressed, so on either side we have two, uh, one upper and one lower uh, family buckles which can be used to tighten in and compress the bag. Now also on either side of the bag is this compartment here. This is secured to keep it out of the way using Velcro. It can be pulled open and it reveals a netting section inside. And this is designed to take a water bottle 
or anything else that you'd like to secure in place here. Now our Hurricane bags use waterproof zips. They are 100% waterproof uh, and they do require lubricating. So each bag comes with a tube of silicone grease. Uh, so it's good practice to make sure that you keep these zippers lubricated. All you need to do is apply some of the silicone grease to the teeth of the zipper on each side. Uh, just run that in with your fingers and also then work it in with the zip. And what that will do is make this zip very, very easy to open and it will help keep it clean. Also on the outside of the bags, we have these built-in set of webbing straps or molly, and these are designed so that you can attach accessories to them uh, or secure things in place using straps. Now on the inside of the Hurricane 15 bag, we have a number of different compartments to organize your items and store different items. So we have a large pouch at the rear part of the section here, a zipper compartment, which is mesh so that you can see what's inside it here. And then also on the uh, inside of the main flap that opens, we have another compartment here. This includes a key loop, another zipper compartment, a number of elasticated straps for pens and other small items, and another mesh section as well. So that's the Hurricane 15, and of course it is entirely waterproof, dustproof, mudproof, and sandproof. And so then that brings us to the Hurricane 25, which is the largest backpack in our range. It has some different features in it, uh, which our other bags don't have, uh, but it also shares a number of features as well. So starting with the harness, it has the same Hurricane harness that all of our bags have, but does also include the uh, waist strap at the bottom. Now the back part of the bag is lined with foam and padding, uh, and this is designed to help with ventilation. And of course, as with all of our Hurricane bags, there is a secret pocket, which is located at the lower part here. As with all of our Hurricane bags, the uh, access for the bladder pouch is at the top here, secured in place with this strap. And inside here is the pocket where you can uh, secure your bladder and of course at the top of the pocket is the stay uh, which is designed to wrap around the top of the bladder to hold it in place and again also with this heart with this bag uh, the drinks tube runs out of the top of the bag out of the top of the pouch down the harness and there's the uh, water tube or drinking tube uh, retaining clip here uh, this is removable again and is adjustable so it can be located on the right hand side or the left hand side of the harness on the sides of the hurricane 25 we have the same uh, compression straps at the upper and the lower part of the bag. Uh, we also have the molly strap so that you can secure items onto the outsides of the bag. And we also have the bottle holder uh, pouch on the left and right hand side of the bag, uh, which has some mesh netting as well. Now the Hurricane 25 has two extra external pockets built in uh, that the other bags don't have. The first one is at the top here and it's located at the top of the bag. It's secured with a waterproof zip and is entirely waterproof. Um, but the thing to note with these two pouches, including this one, is that they are fully waterproof outside and in. So it does mean that you can uh, isolate wet items from the other contents of your bag. So if you have wet gloves, waterproofs, for example, they can be stored in this quite large pocket at the top here, uh, fully wet, and it will stay waterproof and keep, the, uh, and keep your other items dry inside the bag. Now the second external pouch on the Hurricane 25 is at the base, and it's at the very, very bottom of the bag and is here with a waterproof zip. Again, this is a fully waterproof pocket uh, and is designed that you can secure uh, tools or wet items uh, and keep them secure and isolated from the contents of the bag. And on the back part of the bag, we also have this section here, which includes some bungee loops to hold accessories and items and a Velcroed mesh pocket here as well for some other items that you need to be able to access. Now this bag is fully waterproof, including the zipper, um, and it does come with a tube of silicone grease. And that grease is for lubricating the zip uh, to keep it clean and to keep it functioning properly. Uh, all you need to do is run some silicone uh, across the teeth of either side of the zip, work it in with your fingers, and then work it in with the zipper after, and that will keep that zipper operating perfectly for many years. Now on the inside of the Hurricane 25, there are some features to note. The first is that this section here is the inside pocket that's waterproof that is accessed via the outside of the bag. Um, now a really nice feature with this is there's some Velcro at the top of this pouch to hold it in place. Or of course that Velcro can be released and that pouch can be secured flat and out of the way if it's not in use. Now inside the bag we have a number of compartments. The first compartment is right at the back of the bag. And the good news is because of the dimensions of this bag that it is capable of taking a full size laptop. Now this compartment here is an ideal place to uh, house a laptop if you do use one. And of course we have a zipper section across the front as well, which includes another pouch area. That pouch area is meshed at the bottom so you can see what's inside. Now on the opening flap of the bag, we also have uh, an accessories pouch here. Uh, this includes a number of small compartments for mounting items, including some elasticated loops for pens and tools. A zipper section across the top, which is a full size pocket, a mesh pocket that's smaller at the front, and of course our key or accessories loop that's also removable. So that's the Hurricane 25 rucksack, and again, also it is fully waterproof, dustproof, mudproof, and sandproof. 
Now our Hurricane 15 and 25 litre rucksacks also come with a free personalised patch uh, and that patch sits on this section of Velcro here at the front. Now to get that patch all you need to do is visit the URL uh, which is listed uh, on the packaging label that comes with the bag. Uh, visit that website, fill in your details on what you want that patch there to say and that patch will get delivered to you free of charge. So the first thing to note on the Enduristan harness is that it attaches to the bag in four separate points uh, and attaches at the front on the breastplate with one single buckle. This means that the harness is adjustable at four points where it attaches to the bag. So that includes the two uh, lower sides and the two upper sides as well. Uh, it means that you can get a completely perfect and tailored fit for you, regardless of whether you're wearing uh, body armor, big jackets or lighter weight uh, enduro riding gear. Now it's important to realize that what we have done is made sure that these bags uh, will fit regardless of the rider size or what they're wearing. Uh, that means that the bags do come with extra long adjustment straps, especially on the lower sections. Uh, now currently these straps can be retained in place uh, once adjusted using these uh, elasticated uh, stays, um, but the straps are quite long. So the good news is that means that if you do want to, then you can cut these straps down once they're adjusted. Uh, just use a sharp pair of scissors to cut the strap uh, and then uh, use a part of a lighter or a match just to warm the end of the uh, threads of the strap over. Uh, and then of course you can just squeeze them down together to make them stay. Uh, that prevents them from uh, fraying and make sure that they stay in place. Now when it comes to adjusting the upper parts of the straps, these will obviously uh, de determine how high the bag sits on your back. Uh, these two upper straps are secured uh, in place at the top with Velcro, which attaches them to the actual uh, padding of the top harness straps. Uh, and obviously they run through a clip at the bottom here. So the easiest way to adjust these is to undo this Velcro, which is in here. Adjust the straps in length by pulling it either longer or shorter and then re-securing this Velcro in place. Uh, any spare strap that's uh, part of the harness here will fold inside the bag. Now having a harness that's adjustable in this way means that you can get it perfectly fitted for you uh, and what you're wearing on the day uh, when you choose to take your backpack out. So um, you can adjust the height of the chest plate high or low uh, and of course you can adjust the depth of the straps as well. So if you are wearing a uh, full body armor then this bag and this harness will still fit you and you'll be able to get a perfectly comfortable fit. Now there's currently three bags in our Hurricane range. Uh, Linden's Hurricane Hydro which is the one I'm wearing now and then our larger 15 and 25 litre backpacks as well. Uh, the 15 and 25 litre backpacks also come with an additional strap in the harness uh, and that's a waist strap to help secure the weight of the bags around your waist. Again, that's a standard strap that sits around your waist. It has some webbing loops in it as well, so you can attach accessories to it. And that's just adjustable by one big clasp at the front and then either side uh, with the webbing straps that are pull and adjustable. And again, they all include uh, some elasticated stays built into the strap so you can tuck any excess straps away. Mm -hmm.